Right, Adam, the 3-1 defeat today against League One Bolton. What are your first thoughts after the match? Uh, really pleased. Great workout for us. Um, obviously, we you know we know they're a really good side. Um, like the ball, and you know they really test your shape. And um, I thought it was a really good exercise for us. You know we had to be disciplined and organised and, and compact and show grittiness and resilience at times without without the ball. And we said all them things to the players before, and so. It was tough, but you'd expect it to be against such a good leap one side. Um, but, a, you know, by far our best workout so far and uh, really pleased with the way that the players applied themselves. Probably the only real negative from our side was the goals, because for as, as good as they were, I thought, I thought the goals were conceded quite poor, but um, overall, Please. Speaking of goals, we scored again through Stefan Moles from the spot. Is he someone you see taking them this season after we've lost Hancock and Mears? Potentially. I mean, he just keep, he just picks the ball and, and sticks it in. We haven't even we've got so much things that we still need to work on. We haven't even talked about penalties, but he's he's scored two now, so he's certainly making a claim. Um, but I, I thought it, you know what it what it did show um, the, the the nature in which we won that penalty is it showed. That we've got that threat and that pace through um, not just through Miles on, on on the other side, but through Jamie as well. When he came on, I thought he was excellent. When he came on, um, you know, great pass by Jordan, early pass forward to release him, and he he was cute. Really, I think he anticipated the contact from the defender, and he was composed. And then obviously, you know, Stefan stepped up and scored it. So it's that's another positive for us. You know, we've scored in in all three games that we've played and that's that's important. Um, just disappointed with the ones we're letting at the other end, but I can't be too critical of the lads because they've you know they've put a right shift in there against, against the good side. Now that we are a few games into pre-teams and you get an idea of what the new players are like kind of fit into your squad, are you starting to see what your eleven's gonna be for next year? Well there's so much competition for places. Um, you know, the ultimate it's down to the lads to just keep keep working hard in pre-season, getting themselves where they need to be individually and, and obviously when they're on the pitch they've got to they've got to show us what they're all about. Um so you know but I've been really pleased with the, the attitude and the application of all the players so far in, in, in not just in the games but in training. The lad, new lads have settled in really well. Obviously Jamie is the latest one to, to join as he literally came straight in on on Saturday and, and, and you know got involved with it with the group. We didn't give him any minutes at the weekend. Obviously we've got forty five minutes into him today and he's not even trained with us yet so um but i think you know some of the lads who maybe were a bit off it in the first couple of games um they looked much more better and and um and more like themselves today and, and that's just a, that's just an accumulation really we're getting minutes and, and and some tough sessions into them so um we're getting better game by game and um you know we, we need to make sure that we keep on improving physically you know tactically mentally technically in the in the coming weeks, as well as the new lads, the new signings, there's a lot of young lads out there like Dylan Edmondson and Owen Hogan. What's it like for them to have this opportunity to play against such a big side? Well, it's a great opportunity, isn't it? Um, I have to say, Dylan, he's done very, very well so far. I think when he's come on in in the um, the Bamber Bridge and the Trafford games, he's he's done very, very well. So I'm really pleased for him personally. He's he's got to just keep working hard and knuckle down and, and see you know where that takes him. Um, but it's, it's great experience for all, you know, the, the younger lads and, you know, we, we've never been afraid to play young players here if, if they're good enough and, and the, the way they need to be and they can, they can contribute something to the, to the team and the group, then they'll get their opportunities, um, you know, so we, we've got some good good young lads and it, it, even a couple, you know, a couple of young lads who, who are on trial, um, you know, Mamadou from, from the youth team, you know, getting on the pitch. Um, so yeah, great experience all around. Basically, your response today, you're speaking very highly of Dylan. Is he someone we can expect to see throughout the season rather than just in these few games before it starts? Well, it's only pre season and they're only friendlies, you know, so you know, I don't think anybody should get carried away. But he's, he certainly looks, um, he looks to have come back, um, improved on, on what you know I saw at times last season when he came in. Um, you know, he's, he's got all the attributes, in, you know, physically, he's, he's quick and he's, he's, a, he's a strong lad, he's a willing runner, very fit. Um, you know, I think obviously, the, like most young players, areas of his game that he needs to improve, but um, but so far his attitude's been good, he's, he's worked, worked really hard and when he's come on the pitch, he's, he's put a shift in, he's, he's done 
he's done quite well. So we'll see. I, I think it's so tough for these young lads, um, you know, to, to break into a team at our level. Um, it was, the, you know, the, the difference from the level that they've been playing at in the youth team to what we play on the first team. It's just, you know, it's, it's like night and day, really. And, and hopefully moving forward as a club, we can have something to bridge that gap where they, they get subjected to, you know, men's football um, rather than, you know, youth team football. And, and that hopefully in the future might see, you know, one or two of them squeeze, squeeze into that first team setup. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, if you know if, if Dylan and, and any of the other lads uh, feature, but there's still a long way to go. Finally, Adam, live is such a way on Saturday. How are you preparing going into that game? Well, we've been training again now Thursday. Uh, lads need to recover, and um, you know we'll keep working hard. So um, you know, looking forward to going up to Liver's Edge. It's been there a few times in the past. It's always a decent pitch, and you know, very welcoming club. So um, yeah, we just you know get more minutes into the lads and. And the big thing is you, you, we're getting minutes into people and we're coming through unscathed, uh, touch wood. So I think that's what you want, really you want to build the minutes up, not pick up any injuries that's going to set anybody back. So at the minute we're, we're managing to we're balance that quite well. Um, you know, we'll, we'll more than likely give some of the uh, some of the younger lads in the trialist a little bit longer at the weekend um, and give them more of an opportunity to show what they're all about. And then obviously we've got you know another game here next Tuesday, so um, just keep working. Thank you, Adam. Cheers.